what's the weather going to do as we go through this bank holiday weekend and through what is half term for many places. And I think most of us are aware there's a change on the cards and it's going to be a fair bit wetter. But just how much rain are we going to see? And if I put our fronts on and just run through the pattern as we go through the next few days, let's get rid of the jet. And you can see that we have this weather system. It's already pushing its way across parts of Northern Ireland now. It's then spreading across the rest of the UK as we go overnight. Some fairly persistent rain, but not especially heavy. And then we have a, a drier spell as we go through Saturday. Not totally dry, but a bit drier. And then another system comes through later Saturday and overnight into Sunday. And we kind of see a repeat of that as we go through the next few days. So there'll be a spell of rain pushing its way through, some showery bursts following in behind. And then there may be a, a bit of a ridge or a bit of a drier period as we go through uh, at times, but then more systems coming in from the northwest. But I think if we take a little look at our rainfall totals and here I have our rolling accumulations if I just run them through whilst we are going to see more rain than we've seen recently that's not hard when you think about just how dry it's been uh, over the last few weeks few months really the rainfall totals even when we add them up as we go through this week they're not going to be especially high it's always going to be towards the west northwest where we get the wettest weather because of where the systems are coming from being driven by that jet stream coming into western northwestern parts so western scotland parts of northern ireland uh, and western parts of england and wales perhaps as well seeing some higher rainfall totals but even just if i run this through and this is the cumulative rainfall totals all the way until wednesday and it's only hinting some places getting a bit above 100 millimeters over the western parts of uh, scotland and towards the east it's not a huge amount of rain, and when many places are so desperate for a bit of rain, gardeners, farmers, etc., it might not really even be enough to alleviate any requirements that lots of people have. In terms of individual events, perhaps on Sunday, there's the potential for some uh, high rainfall totals across, uh, let's just skip forward, uh, or that's not showing what I wanted. There we go. As we go into Sunday, some relatively high rainfall totals. Worst case scenario, we're talking 50 to 70 millimetres over parts of Western Scotland. But when you think about how dry it is, river catchments, they're so low at the moment. And so we're not really expecting any major impact. So be aware, you may have forgotten how to drive in the rain. So if you're going out for whatever reason, you know, make sure that you drive accordingly for the conditions. But we, we're not too worried from a flooding point of view at the moment.